Hello everyone, this is Schmitty's Kettle Corn. Please like and subscribe and on Facebook. I'm here to tell you how to make cheese popcorn. So here I use this uh, food safe tub and beforehand I pop everything uh, plain with no sugar and uh, dump it from my big bowl of, uh, of 100 quart uh, Master Series kettle corn machine and I use no sugar. In fact, I actually would go back and forth, thought that sugar, adding a little bit of sugar was better, and then I decided to not use any sugar at all. So I use a food safe bin here. Um, I clean it out each time uh, before and after. And then I use um, these little mason jars here. Um, I discovered and um, came up with the idea to, to condense my stuff and decided to put my flavors in these little guys. And I have, you know, white cheddar, I have regular cheddar, I even have a bacon cheddar, and I even have a cinnamon right here that I'm putting out. And I decided to condense, and it saves me a lot of space in my transit rather than carrying those, um, you know, big jugs around and then just saving a lot of space. So then once I get the flavor that I want, you know, in these bins, here um, I have the white cheddar, and basically I sprinkle it to taste. And once I sprinkle some, I shake it up, sprinkle some more, shake it up, and I do that about three or four times to where I believe it has enough uh, flavor for it. And another piece of advice is that it really helps when the kettle corn is um, still warm. So doing it as fast as you can, um, it, it really helps. In fact, white cheddar is my second bestseller. Um, bacon cheddar is my, is my third bestseller. And the other cheeses are uh, pretty good except for one flavor that I do not recommend. And that's uh, nacho cheese. It's been so far pretty much the only one I do not like. But there's about 20 different or more shake on flavors that Gold Medal provides. Um, and they're a lot of fun. You know, it gives you a way to, like, kind of advance your flavor, you know, thing. And you can do different flavors each week uh, if you want to. Once I'm done shaking the popcorn, this is what my end result looks like. This is a small bag. And a small bag I sell for $5. I sell a dollar more than the kettle corn for my savory flavors because the cheese uh, for a four pound jug is about $30. And here's what my labels look like. My labels I get from Print Place and I just stick them on each market and I um, they really help. So my cheese bags um, and my savory flavors, I sell at different price points. Um, my ch cheese bags in this small bag here, I sell for $5. And I sell my meanies for seven. Um, I charge a dollar more than the kettle corn because the jug of uh, spices costs more, and it also costs. It takes a little bit more time to make, but um, it's really worth it. People love the white cheddar. And then when I actually get to set it up at a market, um, this is what the market bags look like. I use uh, samples, and I offer samples of each flavor. And um, I, you know, sometimes at the end of the day, it'll sell out of all my flavors because. Um, it's, it's unique and in fact when I noticed that once people buy the flavors um, as well as your kettle corn your average sales go up so your average sales will go up between like you know ten fifteen dollars or more I've had a few I even have a few twenty dollar sales so you know that always you know helped your bottom line at the end of the day and then once you uh, get some more money uh, over time you have you you know the ability to make your own signs um, some of these I've done professionally and some of these I made myself. That one right there I've gotten from Build a Sign for about 89 bucks. So again, thanks for watching and hope you know you learned a few things about setting up a kettle corn booth. Thanks for watching and listening. Um, please like and subscribe on Facebook. This is Smitty's Kettle Corn. Thank you. Have a good day.